Oh, it's glory. <clears throat> For the longest time, um, scanning on NOAA weather radio stations gave you a general idea of, like, propagation conditions on the VHF band. You could go from weather station to weather station. And in the old days, there only used to be three frequencies. 162.4, 162.475, and 162.55. Now there's seven. There's 162.4, 162.425, 162.425, and 5.5. Anyway, <clears throat> right now, uh, let's see what we're getting here. I think that's the one that serves Aurora, Illinois. Elsewhere around the region. It was 73 at DeKalb, 74 at DuPage Airport. That's definitely Aurora. And 75 at Morris. Let's see. Peru reported at 77 of northeastern Illinois and northwestern that Indiana. That is Lockport. Evening. If this does occur, some period of dense fog could persist at times tonight over the Illinois. Of Chicago. Highs in the upper 70s in 45. but only in the lower 70s near the lake. East winds 10 to 15 miles 45. per hour. And for Friday night, mostly clear. Lows in the upper Sometimes you have to listen east winds 10 to, to their entire broadcast to figure out what uh, area they're serving. This used to be easier in the old days. Uh, like I said, they only had three frequencies. <clears throat> and they had a magnetic cart system where actually an uh, actual human recorded the message on a cart. And that played through over and over again. Today, we have a computer-generated voice. And all the stations sound the same. In the old days, you could actually tell what station you're listening to by the sound of the meteorologist on the microphone. I wish they would kind of like change the pitch of these things slightly between stations. That way you can differentiate them. Okay. They're... They're near, sh they're near the shore. They're talking about marine forecasts. Let's see. If they give... I think this is out of our scene. Wisconsin, I'm thinking... We'll see here shortly. This is boring. You're listening to NOAA Weather Radio. WMG 689, serving Porter Township, South Mariso, Rensselaer, and Hebron. <laughs> the current time is 8. I take it back. That's in Valparaiso, Indiana. The following is a special weather statement from the National Weather Service. Dense fog along the Lake Michigan. It's Valparaiso. Dense fog is ongoing. On, on 45. 10 to 15 miles. Oh my. <laughs> 75, huh? 475. All right, what we are hearing here, I do believe is a mix of, of three, three different transmitters. One of them for sure is in, is WWF 34 out of Plainwell, Michigan, around Kalamazoo. The other one is in southeastern Oceana County, north of Ludington, Michigan. And the third one, uh, well, that the one near Ludington is uh, WWF 36. And the third one you, he you hear, it's a mix of three. There's three on this one, one frequency. And the other one is KZZ 57 out of Rockford, Illinois. And they shift between themselves, you know, depending on conditions. It's a noisy mess. But I hear three different stations going on right here. Three. Three. 
Three different stations. Their pattern continues through Saturday with afternoon highs in the upper 50s. 50. To lower 80s and overnight lows in the upper I do believe this is Laporte. Next chance of rain and Laporte, Indiana. Into Monday before cooler and drier weather for Tuesday. This is a special weather statement for the following county. Porter, Indiana. Dense fog along the Lake Michigan. And you can hear another station in the background. Much of southern Lake Michigan early this evening. On the same frequency. You can hear it way in the background. Impacting areas within a mile or two of the lake tonight. That's definitely the one out of LaPorte County, Indiana. Into portions of northeastern Illinois and northwestern Indiana this evening. If this does occur, some periods of dense fog could persist at times tonight over portions of the Chicago area and result in hazardous travel due to low visibilities under a quarter of a mile. Yeah. Plan on quick changes in visibility if traveling near the Lake Michigan shore tonight, including along Interstate 80, Interstate yeah. 90, and Interstate 94 in northwest Indiana. Now here is the forecast. Tonight, mostly clear. Lows in the upper... See, they should actually give the areas they forecast to. But, yeah. Well, that's a clue. It's near Lake Michigan. It's coastal. Lows in the upper 50s. East wind 5 to 15 miles per hour. Saturday, mostly sunny in the morning, then becoming partly cloudy. Uh, Highs in the lower 80s. East wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tedious. Saturday night, partly cloudy with a 20 tedious of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 60s. I wonder what that other station is. I wonder what that other station Sunday, is. Partly cloudy in the morning, then becoming most. I need to detail this old thing. A 40 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms. It's got some. Highs it's got some uh, dust in the keys. <laughs> this thing has seen so much action. It's been around many, many years. I wonder what that little station is in the background. It's driving me crazy. I I have it hooked to the omnidirectional antenna. I don't have it on the directional. Not around here. Not enough space. I could use a I could use a loop, but you know. Listen, there's a plane. Forecast from where? Uh, Alright, coastal community. Like I said, this is probably Laporte. But I'm waiting for the ID. I ain't gonna press the pause button either. I'm gonna. You're gonna have to like sit through this like I do. East wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. Saturday night, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Yeah. In the lower 60s. Action keys. Five of action keys. <laughs> Marine channel. Old FDPD. Aircraft. Amateur. And weather. That's where we are now. Tell that. Because uh, WX is on the screen. What? Uh, Highs in the lower 70s. Tuesday night, mostly clear through midnight, then becoming bored yet? Cloudy. A 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid 50s. It's got a nice speaker. Wednesday, partly cloudy in the morning. All the controls are up cloudy. top. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 70s. Wednesday night, partly Come on! Identify yourself! Lows in the lower 50s. <clears throat> an 
Thursday, partly cloudy with a 30 Thursday of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 60s. This is NOAA Weather Radio KGY62 in Laport. Visit our website via weather.gov slash IWX. There you the go. Time is 8, 17 p.m. Central Daylight That's time. Laporte. Let's see what's on 525. Eastern Illinois and northwestern Indiana this evening. Oh. If this does occur, some periods of dense fog five two five times tonight over portions of the Chicago area and result in hazardous travel right. due to low visibility Let's see. under a quarter of a mile. Plan on quick changes in visibility five two five. and traveling near yeah. the Lake Michigan shore tonight, including a long Interstate 80, Interstate 90, and Interstate 94 in northwest Indiana. Okay. Now here is the hazardous weather outlook for portions of north central Illinois, northeast Illinois, and northwest Indiana. Uh, for tonight, weather hazards expected, significant fog risk. Yes, going to be foggy. That's probably one of the reasons why we're getting all these stations. Atmospheric ducting because of the fog and an, inver an inversion layer over the lake. That's why our, these are all flipping around. It's going to be a busy night on the old abandoned... VHF high band that nobody cares about anymore. Except these anal retentive fuckers right here on here. I mean, they're not friendly at all. They take their hobby seriously. Portions of the Pecutonica, Fox, Kankakee, and Illinois rivers will remain above flood stage. Okay. Spotter information statement. Spotter activation will not be necessary through tonight. Wow. At 8 p.m. at Kankakee. The temperature was Kankakee. 72 degrees. The dew point was 61. And the relative humidity All right, this was 60 is south of where I am. The wind was northeast at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.88 inches and in rising elsewhere around the region. It was 74 at Joliet, 75 at Morris, 60 at Lansing, and 81 at Danville. Wow. Champaign reported 82. Bloomington reported 80. Pontiac reported This is way south. Peoria reported 80. At Chicago, they just now mentioned Chicago. With a temperature of 69. That's crazy south. The temperature was 72 degrees. The dew point was 61. I got an idea this guy. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? All these stations are a thousand watts or less. I would imagine this is in Kankakee, in the upper 50s. Illinois. Northeast wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. For Friday, Call from Lori 2 in the morning, then clearing. Oh. Highs in the lower 80s. East winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. And for Friday night, mostly clear. Mm. Lows in the upper 50s. East winds 10 to 15 miles per Let's hour. Let's set through this. For Saturday, sunny in the morning, then becoming partly cloudy. And wait till we get its call sign because it's the nerd thing to do. If you ev have ever done this to listen for a call sign, you could be a nerd. I wonder if they would send me a QSL card. <clears throat> I haven't tried that shit with the National Weather Service. I wonder if they would. Do they even? <clears throat> I'm going to have to call the Grand Rapids and ask him for a QS... No, two QSL cards, dude. Two of them. Three of them. Wait a minute. Three. And for Thursday, partly cloudy with chance of showers. <laughs> Highs in the lower 70s. Chance of precipitation, 30%. They're going to hate. You're listening to NOAA Weather Radio, KZZ 58, serving Kentucky, Illinois, and Morocco and Lowell, Indiana. The okay. current time is 8.21 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Well, there you go. KZZ 58 in Kankakee. And this is um, Chicago. This is 162.55 transmitting on the top of the Sears Tower at a reduced power, like under 500 watts. They don't need 1,000 watts because they have elevation. 
they cover basically the south half of the lake if they wanted to, but um, they don't. Anyway, that's a quick band scan of the weather stations here on June 6, 2019 from Chi Town or somewhere like that. Look at that. You don't see that much anymore. Quality LCD. And it, it holds up under shock pretty well, I must add. You know, this thing has been thrown a couple times. But it still works. Out.